Hello world, how are you today? So I'm making this video to kind of, it's gonna be, it's a one shot video, it's a one take, so you're gonna have to forgive me if I pause and think a little bit while I'm walking. But um, I wanted to do a video on the health benefits of barefoot walking as in just being barefoot all the time, more or less, uh, or as much as you can. And there's some really good videos on, on the internet already that talk about it, but I wanted to add my own thoughts to it, just what I've been learning as I walk barefoot and as I've gotten into it. And so, yeah, so I'm walking right now on a trail. Um, I am barefoot, of course. As you can see on this nice dirt trail here so yeah so let's uh, get into it so why why would you want to walk barefoot uh, that's probably something that most people don't even think about uh, we're such a shoe oriented you know society that it's not even a question most people would ever consider but um, just one second, hang on. <clears throat> so why walk barefoot? Well, there's been some research and studies that have shown uh, that come out that all of the foot problems that we suffer from are actually caused by our shoes. Because when you wear shoes, they force your feet into a very unnatural position. And they keep them in that position constantly. They never move, they don't flex, they don't breathe, they just stagnate. Well, you do that for 20 years, and next thing you know, you're having foot pain because your feet are literally atrophying into breakdown because they're never being used. Our feet are, are a muscle just like anything else, and when you put them in a shoe, it's like putting your arm in a cast for your entire life. Well, if you did that to your arm, you know, that arm's gonna get very thin, it's gonna become very weak, and that's what you're doing to your feet. It also, because of most hiking shoes especially, they keep your foot tilted upward, so your heel is up. When you walk barefoot, you're flat. Um, that upper position puts you into a downhill skeletal position that you're not supposed to be in constantly, and so you have to compensate with your back. And this is one of the reasons for knee and back pain. Um, another thing, when you, uh, this is something you'll immediately realize if you start walking barefoot. When you walk, sh when you wear shoes, uh, everybody walks in shoes and runs in shoes uh, with a heel to toe. Uh, gait like this you'll notice when I walk heel to toe my leg is completely straight when my heel hits the ground all that impact goes straight up through your leg into your bones while you do that forever you're getting a massive amount of impact on your body over time and we do it because the heels in our shoes are so thick that we don't notice it when you start walking barefoot, you will immediately, almost instinctively stop walking heel to toe because it hurts. And it's not hurting because you're not used to it, it's hurting because it's unnatural. Um, if you'll notice how I'm walking right now, it's probably hard to, I don't know how easy it is to tell, I am walking mid-foot forward. I am not rocking from my heels to my toes. Um, to do that barefoot is very unnatural. You have to force yourself to do that. 
but the moment you take your shoes off, you'll immediately start walking flat foot or middle foot forward. If you're running, you'll run mid strike to toe or just ball of your foot forward. And when you do that, when you land ball of your foot forward, you can see that your leg is bent. Um, the impact goes into your muscles and your tendons. They can take it, they get stronger, and you just get buffer. That's one of the benefits. Um, the padding on the front of your foot right here is just a big pad. When you land on that, it's it's your shock absorber. The heel of your foot right here is not nearly as padded. When you land on it, you can feel it just boof. Um, even that hurt hitting the ground like that because there's no, it's not designed for it. And so that's one of the major things that we don't even think about and it causes this problem over time into people because we don't realize that we should be barefoot. Uh, the solution to it is better shoes, better arch support, better ankle support, uh, insoles. I work in a foot. I work in a shoe department, 40 hours a week. I see this all day, every day, seven days a week. Everybody comes in. I want ankle support. I want arch support. My arches hurt. My feet hurt. I have plantar fasciitis. My because they've been broken down. My. Uh, I can't stand on my feet for very long. I need better shoes. Everybody turns to their shoes to fix the problem that's being caused by their shoes. Um, and so they make all this high-end gear. It's very expensive. Um, there's a store where I live that will make insoles for your feet. That's $1,400 for a pair of insoles for your feet when all you have to do is take off your shoes for free. And it's just, it's because we don't know because we've just never, we've never learned this. It's a very niche thing uh, that isn't common. But when you take off your shoes, all these problems go away because your body starts to support itself. Your ankles support themselves when you're barefoot. You don't need ankle support when you're barefoot because your ankles don't, um, well, I'll get into that um, a little bit later. So some other benefits, um, a bit more on the scientific side. Um, if you don't believe in energy and, and frequencies, I highly suggest you start believing in it. Um, there is some powerful knowledge to be found in the world of energy and frequencies. Um, there is energy everywhere in this world that we don't even notice. And the Earth... Uh, they conducted a study, they put metal rods into the earth, and the earth vibrates at a certain frequency. And when you wear shoes, and you walk around on man-made materials all day long, like metal and concrete and asphalt, it disrupts your connection to that frequency. When you walk barefoot, uh, your body connects to that frequency. When you walk barefoot in the dirt, on the grass, because you're directly contacting the earth and you pull the energy automatically out of the ground and you attune to that frequency. Um, and they found that the same frequency that the earth vibrates at or pulsates at, when your body is, is at that same frequency, cell regeneration becomes four times baseline. That doesn't, do you realize how incredible that is? four times baseline cell regeneration just from walking barefoot because it attunes your body. Your body, the earth also contains a negative charge. When you walk barefoot, it pulls that negative charge. I am actually walking. That's why I'm starting to breathe differently, if you haven't noticed. Um, <laughs> your body pulls that negative charge in and it balances out the charge in your body which is also health beneficial. And that gets into the electron theory flow of health, which I'm not gonna get into. That's a lecture. Uh, there's all kinds of good videos on the internet that talk about it. That happens automatically. When you wear shoes, it disrupts it. Um, 
Okay, so let's get into the more technical aspects um, that you'll immediately notice when you go barefoot. Um, hang on one second. I'm really awkward. I don't like talking around other hikers when they walk past, so if I go quiet, that's why. Anyway, um, immediately when you start walking barefoot, you're going to notice some things that you didn't notice before. I didn't notice them before. It blew me away. Uh, almost down to a child, childlike level of giddiness at what your feet can do that you never knew they could do, that no shoe can do no matter how good it is. Um, I'll, just, I'll just go through it in the list. All of you. So, do your feet stink? Guess why? Because they're locked in a room all day. The reason why your feet smell is because they're in a closet wrapped up and all the air that your feet give off, all the sweat bunches together. And then when you take your shoes off at night, all of it releases into the air. Just boof. And that's why your feet smell, or that's why you perceive that they smell. Because, I'll give you some scenery around here, see if you can figure out where I'm at. Um, that's why they smell, because you're building in all that air and, and bacteria that wants to leave, and it, and it combines and builds and builds and builds into your shoe, and then it just poofs out. That's why your, that's why your feet smell. That's why they sweat, because there's no air. When you barefoot, your feet don't sweat. At least, at least mine don't, maybe yours do. So I'll give a disclaimer on this one, but my feet do not sweat, ever. Because when you're barefoot, they're constantly getting aerated. And if they do sweat, it immediately absorbs into the ground. I mean, I'm walking on this sand. If my feet are sweating, it immediately pulls into the dirt and gets brushed off. If you're walking in like some wet, dewy grass, you're, you're giving your feet a mini shower. So when you're done, your feet smell like grass. They don't smell like sweat and bacteria, so they don't smell bad. That's caused by your shoes. Um, traction. Um, we, so when I say traction, I'm referring to the, like a tire gripping the road. Your skin, and you'll just learn this, your skin grips the ground incredibly well. Way better than any shoe. Um, and that's just something you got to experience. It is so insane when you walk around and you realize how well your feet can grip the environment. Um, I went on a five hour hike barefoot on uh, a few days ago. I slipped one time, barely, like a half an inch because it was very steep and it was gravelly. That was it. I was walking across rock, sand, dirt, gravel, um, twigs, branches, leaves, everything. Um, I was walking on inclines on rock. Your, your skin grips those surfaces incredibly well. You just, you don't understand until you experience it. You get out on a hike and try it and you'll realize just how much traction you have. Um, along with traction, um, I'll get to that one after. I need to find some rocks so I can demonstrate it. I'm on this dirt trail right now. So, but there's some rocks coming up. Um, blisters, five hour hike, barefoot, gravel, rock, dirt, sand, twigs, um, five hours straight up a mountain and down a mountain. Not one, not one percent, uh, sign of a blister at all blisters now obviously i'm going to disclaim if you're walking like the pioneers you know barefoot 15 hours a day never walk barefoot in your life for a month straight yeah you're going to bleed your feet are going to fall off because you're going way too hard that's like saying if you go to the gym never worked out a day in your life and you start working out 15 hours a day you know yeah you're going to break in half okay but under normal, healthy circumstances, not one sign of a blister. Because blisters are caused by your shoes rubbing against your skin repetitively in the same spot. That doesn't happen when you're barefoot. 
every single time I'm stepping, all I'm doing is pushing into the ground. I'm not rubbing like this. Because of that, and every time I step down, the ground is a different shape, and my feet absorb to that shape. Um, so it's always a unique environment. It's never the repetitive motion that causes a blister. Um, and your feet, over time, will get stronger. They will callus, and they will get the pad of your foot will get tougher to where you can walk over more and more and more aggressive surfaces without being in pain uh, or, sensi or being sensitive, you know. Uh, and that's just something that has to come over time. That's just like getting stronger with your muscles. You just, you just gotta keep walking and eventually you won't even notice uh, what you're walking on because it doesn't matter anymore. Um, so there's some rocks right here. Let me show you this. So along with grip, this is something no shoe can do. Uh, even barefoot shoes can't do this. Barefoot shoes are great. If you wanna wear shoes still, wear barefoot shoes. Um, I'll get into those. This is something that is so mind-blowing that you will experience uh, when you go barefoot. Now, I don't know how you, you can tell. I just walked up onto a hill. Um, here's the rock. This hill's rather, it's, it's getting a little bit steep. Um, and this is just loose dirt. And I'm just walking up it pretty effortlessly with my bare feet. Um, your feet contort. This is, what, this is what's so incredible that no shoe can do. I'm now on this rock. Your feet will contort to the environment around them. When you wear a shoe, um, your feet can make 33 movements. When you wear a shoe, your foot is reduced to one movement. That's your ankle. Okay? That's a lot of movement reduction. Basically what you're doing when you wear a shoe, this is your foot. Okay? Imagine wearing a pair of gloves. And this, when you wear a pair of gloves, this is all you can do is this. And you wear a pair of gloves like this 12 hours a day for t your entire life. Do you think your hand's going to start getting a little bit weak? Do you think it's going to sweat? Do you think it's going to feel funny? Okay, this is what your foot wants to do. That you're denying it with a shoe. And I'm going to prove it right now. When you're wearing a shoe, you're walking on a flat board. A flat surface. Okay. That's why ankle support is a shoe-caused problem. Because, see this edge right here? I'll do it right here. When you walk on an edge with a shoe, all you have is a flat board and all that shoe can do is tilt one way or the other way. It's all it can do, okay? That is where people sprain their ankles because they step on an uneven surface and their shoe just goes boof and it sprains their ankle. Your feet don't do that because, here's why, watch this um, once that focuses. Your feet contort. Let's see if I can get my shadow out of the way. Your feet contort to every surface they touch. It's almost like they have a mind of their own. It's a very interesting experience when you get it when you when you first experience this. Walking on rock is one of the most interesting experiences to do barefoot. Okay, this is a very uneven surface. Watch what happens when I step on it. That is what my foot does. You cannot do that in a, in a shoe. I can lean back off this rock and hold it like a hand and my foot grips it and bends around it i have no balance issues when you do this your feet will do this on uneven surfaces and it keeps your center of balance straight your ankles are always in a balanced position you don't twist your ankles and it's an you just have it's an incredible experience um I'll, like so here's like some other spots your feet just grip it like that i'm pulling back on my foot and it's not moving because they grip it. If you walk on something sideways, watch your toes go down the surface and my foot is wrapping around this. If you go this way, it wraps that way. If you go this way, it wraps that way. Okay? If you're going up, see how my foot contorts to this rock. And it gives you an incredible level of traction. And then along with your skin, gripping surfaces like I was telling you, you literally will notice that you have a mountain goat level of ability to walk across rock that no shoe will give you because a shoe cannot conform to that kind of shape, even barefoot shoes. You have to be barefoot to experience this. So when you stand with both feet, they will contort individually, I'm trying to highlight this, 
um, see, look at that. They will contort individually to what you're standing on. A pair of shoes would be like this, just completely straight. But if you let your feet, they just do whatever they want to do, and I'm standing perfectly straight. Not one balance issue. That's what happens when you let your feet do what they were supposed to do, okay? You have a pair of shoes on you all the time. And it's the greatest pair of shoes in the world, it's your feet. And it was designed to do that. You know, imagine, like I said, I work in a shoe department. Imagine someone coming to you and saying, hey, I have a pair of shoes for you, that the more you wear them, the stronger they get. The more you wear them, the more flexible they get. The more you wear them, the more resistant they get to everything, heat, cold, surfaces, rough terrain, spikes, as in like thorns, um, scraping. The more you wear them, the stronger they get. The more you wear them, the more agile they get, the more supportive they get, and they're free. Would you want that pair of shoes? We've well, already got one. You've just had it in a, hiding away in a storage container your whole life. And it's that rubber thing, you wrap around it every day. So, um, another thing, when you start walking barefoot, I know this is a longer video, I'm trying to go over just everything. Um, so feel free to pause it and come back if this, but I wanna get all this out. Um, your feet will get stronger on a metastructural level when you walk barefoot, that your shoes deny you because they're so good at doing what they do. Okay, engineers know what they're doing. Your, your shoes really do uh, keep your feet cushioned. They really do. And they do a very good job. I'm, uh, the engineers genuinely, genuinely do accomplish that task to a very good level. And I'm not cutting that down. And I'm not saying that, sh that shoes are evil. Don't get, that's not what I'm saying. But I had a guy come in the other day, just a few days ago, and I was talking to him about barefoot, and he knew he knew about it. He was a run. He used to be a marathon runner. He has a friend that he was telling me that would run ultra marathons, a hundred mile marathons in the mountains. Okay, does he sound like he's in shape? Yeah. Are his are his legs pretty dang pretty dang strong? I would say so. That guy started trying to run barefoot, and he gave up on it because it was too hard on him. I'm not saying that he couldn't have done it. I'm not saying he was weak, you know, but he didn't want to slow down because he was very competitive. He didn't want to slow down to take the time to develop his feet to where he could run on them like he did with shoes. But my point is that shows you that even someone running 100 miles in the mountains on uneven terrain, that's how effective our shoes are at keeping us or at keeping our feet from developing um, into a strong functioning structural system. That's how effective your shoes are at keeping you from doing that. So on the flip side, if you start walking or running, if you decide to barefoot, that is how strong your feet will get. Okay, they will be so strong. That also gives you an idea of how strong the, pe the feet are of the people that live barefoot still in the world, out in the the bushes, you know, the people that still live like that, that is how strong their feet are and how well uh, developed they are. There's nothing, there's nothing Neanderthal about being barefoot. There's nothing unintelligent about it. There's nothing caveman about it. Um, it is very, uh, I would say more intelligent because it's developing your body. Anything that tears down your body cannot be intelligent. Now again, I'm not saying shoes are evil. If you're gonna walk across coal, it's burning, and you're working in concrete uh, all day long, yeah, I think you should wear rubber shoes. Concrete will eat your foot away because the ingredients, I, I worked in concrete. I know what concrete burn is, I got it. Um, I've gotten concrete burn before. You should wear rubber shoes. I'm not saying that. Uh, but the health benefits of being barefoot are so, so vast um, that I strongly encourage you to look it up, to try it for yourself. Um, the trail here turned into some, some nice gravel here. This is very massaging on your feet. Uh, 
you walk across it. This is very smooth rock. It's not going to hurt uh, very bad, even if you're not, if, even if you're new. Um, this is very not, this is not painful at all. Um, because when I say massaging on your feet, all the nerve endings of your body end in your feet. Um, that's why foot massage is so health beneficial. Hang on a second. <clears throat> You're a savage, man. <laughs> I can't do that. <laughs> Thanks. Um, all the nerve endings in your feet and in your foot, or in your body and in your foot. That's why foot massage is so beneficial. Well, when you walk barefoot, you get a free foot massage. I think I already mentioned this in the video, sorry. Long video for me too. I think I've covered everything I wanted to cover. I hope this wasn't boring. Uh, I hope I, I just wanted to get everything out that I've been learning and that I have learned. Go look up these other people. Just go to, you're probably already on YouTube. Just go to these other videos and watch these people that are far more experienced and knowledgeable than I am on this. And, and start walking barefoot. Uh, get out into nature. You know, yes, I'm using my phone. So I'm not going to say get off your phone because I'm using my phone to film this. But... You know, get out of nature or walk barefoot. Turn your phone off when you go out there. Don't text while you're walking. And look around. Breathe. Breathe out of your nose. Uh, instead of your mouth. It's a lot healthier. Um, obviously, I'm talking. I have to breathe through my mouth. But And just, there's just so many benefits. You'll, you'll slow down. Your stress levels go down when you walk barefoot because you're slowing down. You're not racing. Uh, your cardio doesn't really... Uh, your heart doesn't race because you're going slow enough, at least at the beginning, that you can uh, that you're not getting tired, and you can look around and appreciate, you know, what's around you. I live in a pretty arid environment. <laughs> All these people on the internet, every time you see them walking barefoot, they're in like these jungles of Jurassic Park. But you know, but wherever you're at, don't matter. Um, start start experimenting with this. See see what works for you. See if you know. Go out and experience this stuff for yourself. And then tell everybody you know about the health benefits of it. Um, so yeah, that's basically my video. I um, hope you liked it. Uh, so yeah, good luck being barefoot or whatever you decide to do. Have a nice life. And I will, uh, yeah, I'll see you sometime. <laughs>